Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind It was the best of times It was the worst of times The fact that the British government is censoring PrisonPlanet.com, Infowars.com, TruthNews.us, Infowars.net is a big victory for us. It shows that we're hurting them badly. When they uh, carried out their attack with Mossad and CIA back on 7-7 in 2005 with the London bombings, when you typed London bombing or bombing into Google for at least a month straight, the number one thing under the term bombing, or London bomb. The number one thing was PrisonPlanet.com links. Now, we have caught major Internet companies in England, Australia, Germany, the United States, blocking InfoWars.com. If you will notice on most major cable modem systems in the U.S. now, if you type an address in wrong, it doesn't go to a blank screen on your computer. It'll be Time Warner Roadrunner, or it'll be Comcast Cable. And they're running everything through their systems. You go through them as a gate. Your computer is coupled first into their system. Now, I learned a decade ago, really, I guess I started InfoWars.com 11 years ago. But even then, public schools, Dell computers, many University of Texas systems. Then we got calls, and people mailed us the sheets where the university had screens saying that it was blocked. Municipal libraries, state libraries, university libraries. So this is one form of censorship. Also, we found out of the scores of Internet filtration systems that people subscribe to and download, that would have thousands of websites banned on it. And we all are, are included in many of those private systems. We are listed as a hacker website. Nothing about hacking on our website. And we are also listed as a filtration system for hate. It's kind of like the TSA list that has over a million Americans on it, or the criminal list that has over 8 million Americans on it, that people don't even have convictions they're on it. This is a control grid to track and trace and make us second-class citizens. Now, under Internet 2, one facet of that plan, there's multiple tracks running on that, Comcast, Time Warner, others are doing it right here in Texas. Comcast is doing it in New York. Uh, other major, uh, the two major companies have announced two weeks ago, uh, in Canada that they're going to decide what sites you visit, and they're only going to allow a couple thousand sites. And so your computer becomes a glorified cable system with only a few thousand websites that you can visit. Now, we told you years ago this was going to happen because we could read the minutes of the Internet 2 meetings they've had in London, that they've had in Tokyo, that they've had in Austin, Texas, they've had in Chicago, San Francisco, what, three years ago it was in Austin. And they always announce at the beginning, it's a consortium of private corporations, universities, and government, and DARPA, and other foreign governments that, quote, the Internet is dead. And they say they're going to not fix the old hubs of the Internet. They're going to let those degrade. They say that's their right to do that. Comcast just got told Friday that they have to stop doing what they're doing, filtering out the majority of the web. And they are saying they're going to disregard the FCC. They don't have that regulatory power. The web was built to be free and open. You pay for it with your uh, websites you pay for. The people that are serving you pay for it with their servers and their bandwidth. You pay for it with your Internet connection. We're getting more Internet connectivity. We're getting more bandwidth, not less. They try to have Ted Stevens come out and say, oh, the pie's small. It's not getting bigger. We have to restrict it. Now he's indicted for all his crimes. And there's no alleging those. We need listeners to understand this is happening. This is coming down now. This has been declared. Another way they're attacking is, quote, the government's going to offer everyone free broadband wireless in Western Europe, in the United States, in South Korea, in Singapore, and many other countries, first world nations. Quote, free. You're paying for it through tax money, and then they are demanding that anyone in that area who is taking the free broadband basically click on an agreement waiving their rights to be tracked, to be traced, to be controlled. So see, they're just making the new Internet where you'll have to have a sub-website on one of their major websites. There's only going to be a 100 of them under Internet 2. And then no more Infowars.com. It'll be MySpace slash Infowars.com, and they can restrict your bulletins, shut you down, delete you, ban you. But the other big way they're doing this on, quote, free government Internet systems just like we wrote two years ago, MySpace is a Trojan horse of Internet, too. And that got picked up by a lot of uh, magazines, newspapers. Wired Magazine reported on our report. 
uh, the San Francisco Chronicle did because their own IT specialist, their own consultants, had never put the big spectrum together, and they went, oh, my God, this is accurate. This is real. Internet 2 told us the plan seven years ago. You understand, folks, all we do is tell you what their official plan is. Dick Cheney said they wanted terror attacks, staged terror attacks for the war, and then they did it. It's the same thing on every issue. We're only telling you what is admitted. We can do a lot about this, ladies and gentlemen. Wim Comcast and Time Warner and a few others, but they're together about half of the cable modem market. When they're able to do that, that sets a precedent, and then all the other majors and then minors can implement that as well. You have to boycott and protest it and speak out against it early on. Now is the time. Don't take this information for granted. Put it on hundreds of websites. Go on message boards. Post it in full. They're blocking our videos. YouTube, we know, is messing with the counters. Uh, we know that Google would change our hits, or when we were getting a video that might be having a half million hits a day, they would just block it for a few weeks or erase it. And then uh, they stopped putting the counters on Google Video, started knocking us out of the number one spot. We're winning the info war, and they're cheating. Of course they're cheating. They want tyranny. They want dehumanization. You know, if every listener out there who's on the website will just start copying our stories, emailing them out to everybody, posting them on sites, we have to let the New World Order know we're not going to put up with this. And let everybody know, prisonplanet.com, infowars.com, jonesreport.com, these sites are scaring the globalists to death. They are shutting us down. They are censoring us everywhere. Appreciate our Google videos. Appreciate the YouTube videos. They're not going to be there forever, folks, if they're able to win. They're moving now. We better get the word out while we've still got some punch. I mean, every one of you, you can't count. Look, you can forget Congress. You can forget the executive. It's all bought and paid for. We've got to take the country and the world back at the grassroots. They're moving to block us, and they're moving to block us because we are having an effect. Let's be clear. YouTube, Google, Yahoo, they all admit for three years they are censoring for communist China. They get the list from them and do what they say. You understand? Now they're doing it on a mass scale in the U.S., England, Canada, and Europe. Are we going to put up with communist Chinese style or worse, censorship? It's happening. Do you understand? You see, 60% down in newspaper readership. TV's plunging in ratings. The mainstream media is fully discredited. They're falling apart. They've got to do this, folks. They are coming. They're chopping up the web right now. You had better use prisonplanet.com while it's still available. You'd better tell your whole email list about the censorship. You'd better explain to them the different, well, there's really more than 20 ways they're killing the web, but, but there's six or seven main ways that have subsystems of doing it so people can identify how they're being censored, how it's being choked, but it's here. Here's what we do to counter the British government. Censoring prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. We use YouTube as a weapon, and no doubt they will censor our hit counters as well. But we do this as another example here for everybody. And you take this video and you send it out to everybody you know, you pass it on to everyone, and then we show everyone the censorship that's going on, not just on MySpace, not just uh, with the government filters now on websites, all the things that are admitted and documented, worse than communist China. You then will witness YouTube, if it follows past operations, when this viral video hits about 200,000, and we've had videos that have done that in one day on YouTube, and then suddenly the counter just stops and adds a couple hundred a day. I mean, you'll have a video with 300,000 views, and it'll have 20,000 comments. That's impossible. Or you'll have 40-something thousand ratings and only 200,000 views. That ratio is not right. But we've caught Google censoring us, both in text, and they've had to admit it, and with videos. We've had a whole bunch of videos that were number one. Not anymore. They just took the hit counters off. Google video. We need you to make a serious stink about this and get this out to everyone to then illustrate the censorship they're engaging in. Google and YouTube, which, of course, YouTube's owned by Google, Yahoo and others, admittedly for close to three years, have been censoring things for the communist Chinese government. Now they're using those same censor systems here in the United States, in Canada, in England. And there's a whole cocktail of other ways they're censoring. But again, the British government is censoring right now. They are censoring PrisonPlanet.com and our other family of websites because we're so effective. We pushed it out. Our listeners pushed it out. 
got Keith Overman to cover last week, the fact that Cheney was planning staged terror attacks and killing our own troops. This is important news. We're risking our lives. And for our safety, we need to continue to be prominent and more prominent. They're bringing in tyranny, ladies and gentlemen. The mainstream media is dying. They're panicking. The propaganda arms are losing all their credibility. So now they're engaging in communist Chinese-style Orwellian censorship. Censorship. Censorship.